How about the names Thurston Keller Houdini? Oh, the last one's a little clue, isn't it? In the early 1900s, those were the biggest names in show business. As ABC7's Frank Matthew tells us, those magicians are making a comeback of sorts. At Potter and Potter auctions on North Ravenswood, they have struck magic gold. Old lithograph posters of magicians, many of them over 100 years old. The posters were discovered by a suburban woman in her basement after her husband, a collector, had died. She had no idea of the value. They had been rolled up in a vacuum cleaner box for almost 40 years. She, she explained to me that, you know, she really hadn't looked at them in, in quite a long time. Gabe Fahuri and his father Sammy will be auctioning off the posters on Saturday, March 26th. For fans of this type of memorabilia, it will be a rare chance to look back and maybe buy a piece of the golden age of magic. I would say that stone lithography uh, had its heyday from the 1880s to the 1920s. And most of these posters are from that period. This is art. Absolutely. A 1902 Houdini poster, valued at about $20,000, is the rarest of the lot. It shows Houdini in a German court, accused of being a swindler and a fraud by German police. But Houdini demonstrated his magic for the judge. He won and forced a public apology to be issued by Kaiser Wilhelm II. He escaped again. He escaped again. Over a hundred posters in all will go up for auction and they will range in size from this one, seven feet by nine feet, down to this. And behind every one of these magicians, a very interesting story. For instance, this guy, Chung Ling Su. Chung Ling Su was uh, an Irishman from uh, Brooklyn who performed under the name uh, of Chung Ling Su. An uh, Irishman from Brooklyn? Yes, he was. Chung Ling Su might not have been who he said he was, but all these posters are the real thing. Frank Matthew, ABC7 News.